Hey guys, what's up? And this is TFE Gaming here, and welcome to a very different video, but something that needs a lot of attention. Skill games is something that nobody in our community goes to, and personally, I really like them. They really help you to get better at the game. It's just like football practice, but for FIFA. This year there were some new skill games that EA added that you might have missed and this video will showcase every skill game that helps you to get better at the game. All of these skill games in the list are sorted in the order of the hardest so the first ones are quite hard to do and you'll actually get better at the game if you try and do them and then there are some easier ones to try in the end of the video. Starting off with one of the hardest skill games in the game and it's called collect the trophies. This skill game is only good if you make a strict rule for yourself and the rule is that the defender cannot touch the ball once and if he manages to touch the ball you gotta restart the game. Trust me, go and try this skill game right now. Not only you will learn how to take out defenders but you will also understand how hard this one is if you try to do it perfectly all in one go. Remember being in the skill game is not for the completion of the skill game, you are just here to learn and get better. Do not worry about the points or the score, just keep practicing until you get good at it. My comment section is filled with people saying that we just take our analog stick and move it around round and round all the time. Just take a look at my comment section man, it's seriously very hilarious. Shows how much people every year watch skill move tutorials on the internet but never take out the time to actually learn them. Then there's also a thing that the game gives you barely 10 seconds in a whole match to perform one skill move and if someone does not know how to, they will never learn. So to learn skill moves, I would recommend this skill game. Just trying to perfect the timing on how to take out the man in front of you is very important. The next one is the Director Drone skill game and it's also called Pass and Go. It's under the ground pass tab and it's really hard for people who don't know how to use this feature. And that's why it makes you better at the game. To play it properly, you need to pass and then flick your right stick just after that. This enables the new Director Drones and the, then only you can complete this skill game. So it makes you learn the new feature and get better that way. The next one I'm gonna talk about is the free kick drill skill game. This one is really good for people who are bad at free kicks. You guys might know that I have many tutorials on my channel on free kicks and they all work here. Come here, practice all you want and chill out. There are two versions of this skill game, one being the mannequin one and the other one which has a practice match feel to it. Both are really good but I prefer this one more since it's more chill and has more angles that are worth practicing. These skill games you can find under the set piece tab and they are called direct free kick adapt and in game set pieces. Ok so next up is a skill game that is called skill moves to goal and it is under the dribbling tab. This one is really good because you can literally practice any skill move you want since you are one on one with the guy. Let me tell you this one is extremely hard and not as easy as I make it look and this was probably one of my many tries that I got it right. I mean that's the beauty of it, you can just put some music and enjoy FIFA for once in your life. This skill game makes you better in timing your skill moves more efficiently. The next one is the penalty skill game to practice the glitch penalty that everybody is using online. You aim at the top of the goal, try and yellow time your penalties and even if the goalkeeper jumps the right way, they cannot save it. This is an unstoppable penalty and it can't be saved right now. We can surely expect a patch soon and you can enjoy it until then. But to practice this penalty, you can come to the skill game and enjoy it. The next skill game is called Under Control and this skill game is the best for practicing nutmegs or bridge dribbles. If you keep doing these for like 20 minutes straight, you literally become so good at it, you can do them anywhere online if you want. This skill game is easy so don't think of it like completing it for points or something, just keep retrying and remember you are not here for points, that stuff is for little kids. You are here to practice and don't care about any competition. Ok so the next one is called hold the line and it's the last one in the defending section. This one is hands down so difficult to do. You need to jockey the guys you're facing and I must say it's super super hard to do that if, they, if you max out the difficulty. Literally it's very hard to get better at this and you learn to jockey much better 
than you did earlier. Since they move the ball at such speed, it is very difficult to catch their feet. Ok, so the next one is slightly easier and it's kinda same as the previous one. But this one helps you to practice baits while defending. Sometimes you need to move out of the way for your opponent to make a pass and this is called jockey baiting. When you jockey away and then you jockey back in. It's really fun to it's really fun to do this and I would recommend to give it a go. This makes you so much better at defending in the game if you suck at jockeying. Just remember, don't care about the points, make it as hard as possible for you and keep practicing. Now it gets slightly advanced and tricky from here and you need to have a good mentality if you're going for these ones. This one I found is called the dribble shot and it's really really good to learn the low driven shot. This shot is a combination of buttons. First you press LT L2, then you press LB L1 and then you shoot. And this takes the ball and grounds it and it's a very easy finish with the shot. So go ahead and try it and finally learn how to shoot the low driven shot that you have been ignoring for so many years. Sometimes in this one you also need to chip the ball to get it over the net. To do that press the LB L1 and then shoot and this helps you to learn the chip shot perfectly. The next one is called the scrimmage and is the last one in the basics tab. This is basically Walter football but better. This one is really good to learn how to make skill moves with one twos. The point of all of this is to practice skill moves as many times as you can because in the real match you don't get as many opportunities to do so. The match is always fast paced and in such cases you can't risk to skill and learn under pressure. So come here instead and spend some time chilling in these skill games. The passing tab is completely useless but there is one skill game I don't know that looks really cool to me. And it might help to practice taking out the goalkeeper. It does look really cool so I had some combinations done myself. So take a look at it. You can try it. So this one is the, is the skill game I'm talking about. The last one is beat the goalkeeper hands down best skill game in the game. In my opinion this is the best way to learn how to take out the goalkeeper. Since you all have to do it once in your life while you're online. And goalkeepers are really crazy creatures when it comes to the FIFA franchise. So it's very good to understand how they pace themselves, when they go down, how to take them out, how do ball rolls work on them, how do drag backs work on them. So basically go inside, beat the goalkeeper and practice how to take them out. I would love to hear your feedback in the comment section if you try these skill games out. Tell me in the comment section below. Until then, leave a like if you like this video, click subscribe if you're not because we upload FIFA videos almost every day and the best way to check them out is a subscription. So yeah, click subscribe and until then, this is CFE Gaming, peace.